Alright, what's up guys? Rob here with Ben Barbell. We're going to shoot a uh, chest and arm session here today. Uh, I am a college student. I'm 19 and I am 13 weeks out from my first ever bodybuilding show. Uh, I'm competing in the MPC at uh, Lehigh Valley Championships on May 23rd. Uh, it's my first ever show competing Classic Physique B. Uh, really excited to start working out here and ready to take on the exercise warehouse. So right now I'm doing some activation exercises. Uh, it really helps to start getting a pump early. Um, what you like to do is basically just take any kind of resistance band uh, or anything where you can get resistance, so a machine would be good too. Uh, and what you want to do is focus on a stretch and then hard contraction through the muscle. And it really helps to activate the entire muscle uh, and really helps to start get that pump. Yeah, I like to do a ton of warm-ups whenever I'm uh, going on chest day. Because the thing about chest is that it's one of those muscle groups that you really have to isolate first because if you don't do a lot of isolating movements like a pec deck first, you can tie in a lot of shoulder and tricep. And what you really want to do on chest days, you really want to focus on just your chest. A lot of people do push days instead where they focus on many different um, aspects of your physique, like your chest, delts, things like that. I prefer to split it up like with body parts. So when I'm doing it with body parts, I really like to isolate the body part that I would like to do, the muscle specifically that I want to focus on, and then I go from there. I use this app to track my, my workouts. Um, having a logbook is actually really important when it comes to uh, ensuring progressive overload and making sure you're getting stronger. If you don't know what you did last time, you don't know if you're doing better this time. You gotta know a logbook, either you're using an actual book or an app, is really good to just check and make sure that you're actually progressing. Strength is subjective. Size can be um, pretty subjective because you can't always look at pictures of yourself and think, wow, it's so much better than last week. But strength, if your numbers are going up, you're getting better. So I usually do two sets for every exercise. Uh, the pec deck is the only one where I don't follow this rep scheme. But what I usually do is I do what's called work back off. So you have one, basically, a lot of times people call it a top set, but you actually do it first. So you do it about six to eight, and then you do a set of about 10. I really like this because I like training heavy. A lot of people like training heavy. And it's really fulfilling to not only get uh, that strength set, but also be able to get a really good pump from that second one. Pec deck is the only thing where I don't do that. Because there's such a harsh stretch on it, if you're really overloading it, then it can be pretty dangerous. Because you never want to put yourself in a position where you can tear something. If you're going six to eight on something like a pec deck, you're really putting yourself in a tough position. Also, I'm using the full stack, so I don't really have an option, but, you know, usually that's how it goes. Alright, moving on to uh, incline press here with dumbbells. I prefer dumbbells way more just because you get a much better contraction at the top. Um, if you literally just think about the motion of a barbell versus a dumbbell, a dumbbell you're coming up and forward, a barbell you're pushing it. Just think about the squeeze when you're trying to push your pecs together. That's what you're doing when you're doing a dumbbell press. So, anytime, anytime I go um, for any kind of heavy press, I always use elbow sleeves. Um, not exactly because I need them just yet, but they really provide good stability. And when you're trying to press heavy ass weight, you gotta be stable. You always wanna make sure you're recovered after your warm-up sets. Because if you're warming up decently heavy, right? You don't wanna take away from any kind of working set just because you're out of breath. Give it a minute, you're still gonna be warmed up after 30 seconds. Give it a minute, catch your breath, and go for it. Some pretty good lighting here. <laughs> Light work.
let's say 16, 17 reps, 120s, it's pretty fucking good. So the key to heavy dumbbell press is just remaining stable. It's heavy, right, obviously. When you kick that shit up, focus, put all your effort into that first rep, all your focus, because what you need to do is make sure that first rep is stable. If you have a bad first rep up, you're not getting a good set. Have a strong first rep, control that weight, make sure you're not dipping it to one side, right? Make sure it's stable and flat, have it on a good position on your chest, so that when you push up, right, you're going all the way forward into your upper chest. Push hard, contract strong, control that weight. We got incline press flies. Really, really good because a lot of traditional flies will really impinge that shoulder joint because what you're doing is you're opening it so far, you're having a real hard stretch in your shoulder. What these do is they simulate a fly because you are stretching the pec, but you're only stretching the pec. See, what I'm doing is I'm able to stretch the pec without stretching the shoulder. When you're going down like this, my pec is fully, fully stretched. If I feel this tendon up here, right where your collarbone meets, it's fully stretched. But this tendon, where your shoulder joint is, it's not, it's still relaxed. The reason you do an incline is because what you can do is accentuate that squeeze at the top, again, without impinging the shoulder joint. Health. It's a big key in bodybuilding, with your training, with your lifestyle, diet, everything ties together. It's all about being healthy, healthy as you can, and being in it for the long game. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You gotta have the right fuel to keep going. Nothing that simulates it, because everything that they say simulates it is a crock of shit. I'm telling you right now, lat pullover machine is the best back exercise machine. Best machine exercise there is. Quote me on that. I think it's three or four. It's pretty light. Ouch. Close line. 
All right, that's chest done. Now it's posing time in the arms. Fun stuff. single basically every single arm movement that I do except for one at the end they're supersets basically what I structure it as I have two different supersets then what I do is I do one just bicep exercise because my biceps are lacking a little bit then I do two drop sets one for buys one for tries forearms and then we're done easy work my arms aren't a total weak point on my body they're not terrible not great, not terrible, but they're good enough. So, basically what I do is I give them a pump, they're gonna grow. Not focusing on them because my chest is what I want to focus on more. That's a much bigger point on stage than your arms. So, because my arms aren't taking away from my physique at the moment, I'd rather have my chest as a standout. So, that's why I prioritize it and why I do the volume that I do for it. First exercise is going to be um, heavy, uh, heavy um, cross body um, hammer curls. I really like that one. You'll see what I do though. It's very important to focus on getting it up with your bicep. You're going to let your arm hang and then bring it up. I'll demonstrate in a second. We superset it with these dumbbell kickbacks. Dumbbell kickbacks, lightweight. If you're doing anything above 20, you're going to be doing it wrong. You want to hold it at the top. Don't flex your joint all the way. What you're doing is you're keeping your arm a little bit lower, not 90 degrees as a lot of people say, a little lower, flex all the way, good set, really good superset, basically just pump up the arms, really get some blood going, the next superset is a heavy superset, so what we really want to do here is prime the muscle, give it a little bit of tension, right, put some heavy weight on it, but the next exercise we really go heavy, heavy weight, good form, that's how you grow. Not that 20 range shit. Failure sets are good, but failure doesn't mean 30 reps. Now, everyone has a different philosophy on it, but train heavy. There are a lot of guys that I look up to in the industry. They train heavy, just like me. They get results. I get results. Everyone's different. Everyone likes to train differently. I like to train heavy. That's how I like it. Done with this one. Yeah. 
I just have a little light. You ready? At least trying to get my uh, nationals qualification. Um, I want to compete at nationals this year. Uh, I'm going to compete uh, this time, May 23rd. So I'm just about 13, just under 13 weeks out from uh, the NPC Lehigh Valley Championships. Uh, I'm going to compete Classic Physique Class B, as well as the Junior Division. I'm only 19, but uh, yeah, I can beat the juniors, no problem. And uh, I could have actually gone novice and true novice. Never competed before in anything. But uh, I'm ready. Ready for nationals. So just got to qualify and um, hopefully get a shot and try for my pro card. Realistically, I just want to compete in nationals this year. Um, I actually have quite a plan uh, set in place no matter what. If I do not qualify for, uh, for nationals at this show, then I know that I'm just not at the caliber um, that it needs to be just yet. And then I'm going to take a year off and um, get a lot bigger. Because at this point, I'm probably going to come in like 185. My weight cap is 197. So I have a hell of a lot of weight that, I can, that I'm probably going to be able to put on. Um, so if I'm not ready to compete at nationals yet, I'm going to take a year, put on that weight, and then try again uh, actually sometime in the spring. So it'll be a little less than a year. Um, but if I do qualify, I'm going to compete at um, NPC Team Universe um, and try and get my pro card there. And if I don't, because I only have to get, I have to get top two in my high class. And looking at the winners from last year, my legs are twice as good as theirs. So we'll see. We'll see how I come in the first show. But um, I'm confident that I can at least get the nationals. But say, say that I get to uh, compete in NPC Team Universe. And I actually don't qualify, and I don't get my pro card. Then it'll be the same story, year off, because I'm not ready to be a pro yet. Simple as that. If I qualify, and then I win the show, and I'm a pro, same deal. No matter what, after the end of the show, year off, time to get bigger. Because if I actually do manage to turn pro, by the grace of God, the weight cap for. Um, Class physique for pros is 207. I have another 10 pounds of stage weight to put on. It's like 20 pounds of off-season weight. Moral of the story, I have a lot of weight to put on. So we'll see what happens. 12 weeks. Shock the world. This is quick pace, just concentration curls. Back at it. I like to do a little twist of it.
some get some forms, but you know what? You have big meaty forms, you gotta train them. But common misconception is this is what trains them. Nah. Gripping heavy ass weight and controlling that, that's what does it. It's just accessory stuff. I need heavy metal blaring in here. All my sounds. <laughs> really quick rest with these. I honestly just take about 20, 30 seconds. Pretty much to get them over with. Really, you're just getting a little bit of a pump in your forearms. I mean, you should be really activating them during hammer curls, things like that. So, this should be just secondary stuff. But at the same time, it's good to get the little details, especially in the top of your forearm, right? When you get a little separation in here. That's what you want. Especially on stage. <laughs> Last one. All right, guys. Just wrapped up a uh, chest and arm session here. Uh, really productive session today. Move some heavy weight. Uh, I focus predominantly on uh, upper chest movements because that's what really fills out your chest. My, my lower chest has been uh, pretty developed from uh, sports and also just not training upper chest for a long time. Um, so now we focus primarily on upper chest, We're really building that up, trying to get ready for the stage. Uh, and then we finished off with some arms, some nice heavy training, but also getting a good pump there. And uh, overall, it was a really good workout. <sighs> yeah, we're uh, just under 13 weeks out. Stay tuned.